Thank you for tuning in. I want to share this project that I'm working on. I'm really excited about it. Still sort of a proof of concept work in progress, but first off I want to thank Zoe at DJI for making us aware of this. This is a drone claw for the Mavic Pro. All of the components are available on Adafruit as well as parts that you'll need to print. And this is done by two brothers, the Ruiz brothers. They have a great channel that talks all about 3D printing. I'll put a link to their channel below. I want to thank them for bringing this project to life. And if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I've tried various ways to uh, create a payload dropper. This was one of the first ones that used the micro bit board, mounts to the Phantom 3 and 4, uh, landing legs and then it would detect a 360 degree rotation, trigger the servo, drop the payload, but it wasn't very consistent. There were a lot of trouble with vibrations triggering uh, sensors on the micro bit and not to mention that my 3D design skills are very amateur. So I want to fast forward to what the Ruiz brothers have done and what we're doing to integrate this payload dropper into drone blocks. Let me just show you some of the parts that are involved with this print. There are eight major parts that you'll need to print. You can see uh, the leg extensions here. Those go on your Mavic Pro arms, the left and right front arm. Then we have the main claw piece. It mounts between these two rubber posts and it stays out of the way of your vision positioning system, which is awesome. We have the claws, left and right. And then we also have our case cover and the main case. This is the Circuit Playground Express from Adafruit and all of that is part of the build that I'll link to on the Adafruit site. All of these components run less than $50 depending on where you get them from. The biggest challenge is finding the right screw sizes to mount everything and the other thing that I had a lot of trouble with is just finding a good optical cable. Now if you read the build log on Adafruit they recommend using a certain type of clear filament but that's not easy to get and you have to buy it in a spool which is about $60. So I found this on Amazon. When I do the full build I'll share all of that but what I want to do now is demonstrate how this works. It's actually really creative. When the LEDs are toggled turned on and off from your Mavic Pro that light is sent through this cable to a little photo transistor on this board, the Circuit Playground Express. Now there is code running on this board. There is a, a block or scratch based programming environment. The code is available in the Adafruit link and it's very basic. I've powered up my Mavic Pro. I'm going to launch drone blocks. We've introduced an LED block that will be able to toggle these LEDs on and off. And we're gonna be rolling out this version very soon. Our hope is to do kind of a cool uh, egg dropper contest where we encourage students to create a repeatable mission that will take the Mavic Pro up in the air and trigger the drone claw to drop an egg. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom in here a little bit. We have a loop block that's going to repeat three times. It will turn the LEDs off and then on. And now let me just go ahead and execute this code and see the LEDs going off and on. It will do that three times and over here this optical cable is carrying uh, the light down to that photo transistor. As I mentioned I'm still just prototyping this. This is all duct tape. We'll actually use some heat shrink or something better in the future. So that demonstrates the drone box part of it. Now let me turn on the claw and we'll see that in action. Just for testing purposes I did buy the Circuit Playground Express. It's like a developer kit. It comes with a battery that you can easily turn on and off with the switch. But when we actually take to the air, I'll be using this small 500 milliamp hour LiPo. And that will just mount right inside of this case underneath the board, be very portable, and it should be very light, allowing us to carry a decent payload. I've gone ahead and turned the Mavic Pro around so you guys can see uh, the claw from the rear. See the LED there. I'm going to go ahead and power up the Circuit Playground Express turn that on and you can see that it closes the way the code currently works. If the LEDs are on, which they are by default, the claw will close and our drone blocks code here, we're going to repeat three times, turn LEDs off, on, we'll loop again and it'll repeat that sequence. So let me go ahead and just start this mission. You can see that a servo trigger 
as the LEDs are blinking. The next steps are will be to get this LED control integrated with the flight logic so that this can be triggered as certain events happen in the air which will allow us to do cool stuff like take off, fly forward a distance and at that point trigger the claw to drop an egg from a couple hundred feet in an open area of course. I'm just stressing responsible use of this technology but I'll share that in an upcoming video. Thank you Zoe for making us aware of this project. Thank you to the Ruiz brothers and Adafruit uh, for bringing this to life. We're excited about the integration of this with drone blocks. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.